Have you even wondered why the polar bears are fat and white? What's the role of the long eyelashes in camels? Well, these questions will be answered in this video. Animals tend to survive in a particular environment because they have these special characteristics to be successful in living these types of environment. And that is what we call adaptations. Example, a toad has the ability to blend in with its surroundings and it is what we call camouflage. Camouflage is a physical behavior an animal can do when hiding or disguising from the predators. Example, the combination of bright orange and black on a monarch butterfly is an adaptation to warn potential predators that the butterfly is poisonous and prevent it from being eaten. Adaptations afford the organism a better chance to survive in its surroundings. There are different habitats wherein organisms undergone adaptations and these are the following. Number one, desert adaptations. Deserts where the environment is generally hot and extremely dry provide many striking examples of how plants and animals are adapted to their surroundings. Plants have many adaptations to cope with the lack of water. Some desert plants, such as the barrel cactus, have expandable stems for storing water. Other plants have adaptations that reduce water loss from their leaves, the part of a plant through which most of the water is lost. Others have a waxy coating on the leaves or have small leaves that reduce the surface area exposed to the drying elements. In many cases, desert plants have no leaves at all. In the process of photosynthesis, which normally occurs in green leaves, is carried out in the stems. That is why they themselves are green with the pigment chlorophyll. Example, cactus. Cactus is a desert plant. Some cactus adaptations are number one, have thick stem to store food and water. Number two, spiny leaves to prevent water loss. And number three, cactus has the fibrous roots to absorb water. Now, for animals in the desert, they have many adaptations as well to help them survive in the desert climate. Many are nocturnal, meaning active during the cool night rather than the hot daylight hours. Example, the kangaroo rat. A kangaroo rat is a nocturnal animal that conserves water by excreting a solid urine rather than liquid. One common animal in the desert is a camel. This animal tends to adopt the type of climate, thus we can enumerate some adaptations why camel survived in the hot and dry area. Number 1. Camel has long eyelashes to protect them from sand storms. Number 2. Camel has wide foot so that they won't sink into the sand. Number 3. Camel has long legs to help them keep their bodies farther away from the hot ground. Number 4. Camel has thick lip and tongue in order to protect them from eating spiky or spiny plants. Number five, camel has hump to store fat in order to survive in the long journey. It served as a source of energy when food is not available. Next type of habitat is tropical rainforest. In sharp contrast, the climate of the tropical rainforest is hot and wet with over 80 inches of rain per year as opposed to the desert's 10 inches or less. Plants have adaptations that enable them to shed water efficiently. The leaves of many rainforest plants have drip tips for this purpose, but wrists and stilt roots are thought to provide extra support for trees growing in spongy wet soils. Tropical rainforest plants also have adaptations to take in what little sunlight is available on the dark forest floor. Large leaves are common. They increase the amount of sunlight a plant can capture. Other plants like orchids, bromeliads, and ferns grow as epiphytes high up in the canopy where there is more sunlight. Example, canopy trees live in the forest and jungle. Some canopy adaptations are the following. Number one, umbrella tops to get more sunlight. Number two, 
very long stems to compete for sunlight. And number three, deep, strong roots to absorb water. For the animal adaptations, one common is birds. Birds have long, wide beak, suitable for pounding on dead trees to get food and carve out cavities for their nest. Number two, birds have strong claws to live on trees and capture prey. Number three, they have long tongue which can extend far beyond its bill. Number four, plumage or a feather pattern to communicate other birds. Number five, they have incredible eyesight that helps them to move among the trees with ace. Then number three is aquatic habitats. Fish are one of the animals that live in aquatic habitats. Do they undergo adaptations too? Yes, they are. Some adaptations of fish are number one, fins to swim. Number two, they have scales for protection. Number three, they have pointed and curvaceous body shape to glide in water smoothly. Number four, they have gills to breathe. The number five, they have swimming bladder to control floating and sinking. Other habitat is Arctic habitat. Polar bears live in Arctic and tend to undergo adaptations in order to survive in this cold climate. Okay. Adaptations of polar bears are number one, they have thick layer of fat to give warmth. Number two, they have white fur for camouflage in ice and snow. The adaptations discussed are all adaptations to specific climatic conditions, but organisms have also developed adaptations to other aspects of their environment. Some animals have adapted to eat a certain type of food. Others have adapted to avoid being eaten themselves. Most animals have behavioral adaptations which help them attract a mate. In the plant world, many flowers have evolved specific structures that help ensure pollination by the insects they attract. And that ends our lesson and if you learn new things today, please don't forget to like and subscribe and be updated to my upcoming video. Have a great day!